Hi everyone, um, welcome to this video. So, about two to three years ago, I bought a PlayStation 3. And I bought it with the intention of attempting to be a normal male who wastes hours upon hours with this console thing. Anyway, it turns out it's not really my sort of thing. I get bored very quickly and um, I just, I don't know, it just doesn't really work for me. But anyway, a few days ago I thought um, I'd get a game a two-player game and try and play it with my partner and see if she likes playing it and whatever so so yeah all that's good but then I come to use the controllers and the controllers are dead so I've got these three controllers and um, you can charge them up and then they last for not very long at all maybe an hour or something or less than that and then they just don't work so I thought I'd get to the root of the issue and solve the problem in a rather indie way and here we are so this is how to I don't know, I can't really say upgrade, but this is how to modify your uh, PlayStation controller in order to get much, much better battery life. Now, there is a bit of a clause. Um, we will probably end up having to remove the BMS, the battery management system. And maybe you'll think that's too dangerous. Personally, I don't, but maybe you do. So if you do think that's dangerous, then just don't follow the tutorial. Don't do it. Anyway, so I think it's time to get started. So the first, thing, the first thing we'll need to do is to take these, um, these screws out of here. So just take them out, and the next one, and the next one, blah, blah, blah. Take them all out, and you'll end up with this. I've already took them out, see? You'll end up with this. If you just pry it apart, you'll end up with that. And now the battery, which I've uh, removed already, the battery goes in there like that. And you can just take that out. So I've actually... As you can see, I've took it out and snipped it. You get something like this inside, or sometimes you get, I don't know, the genuine ones will probably get this, and uh, the cheap rubbish ones will probably get something like this. So I've took the batteries out anyway. So I've got the cell, and the cell reads 3.7 volts, 570 milliamp hour, 2.1 watt hour, and that's pretty pathetic really. I suppose it's okay for a controller, but, you know, it, it's... It's not amazing, and um, I think these are probably dead anyway. They're a couple of years old. Um, they don't seem to be working. They don't seem to be holding their charge. So, um, I decided I'd do something different, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do now. If I can just find the uh, the appropriate stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to put a lithium-ion cell on it, and I'll probably glue it to there, but the back it'll have to be. So these lithium-ion cells, if we just compare them, I've got this one here, which is, uh, like I said, 570 amp hour, milliamp power, sorry, 3.7 volts. And these will also be 3.7 volts, but these will probably be more like 2,000 milliamp hour, or, you know, I could pretty safely assume they'd be over 1,000 anyway, so it's over double the capacity of these things. The downside is that, of course, it's quite a big thing, but, you know, I don't really care about that. I'm not a professional gamer, I'm not, you know... I'm not a big gamer at all, so I was thinking I'm just going to put this in here, uh, get a good connection, and just solder it in. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I need to do is um, is actually work out how I'm going to do this. And the way I'm going to do it is actually fairly simple. I'm going to drill a hole through there, and I'm going to have this over here like this, and I'll probably glue it down with hot glue or whatever. And um, ergonomically I've tested it and it seems okay so so that's what I'm going to do so first thing I need to do here is drill a hole now like I said this is a bit of an indie way of doing it it's, it, be, it would actually be much better if you could do it nicely but I don't really care so um, let's drill through to start with uh, I don't actually care too much about getting this perfect let me go for about there And there we go. So that's done. I'll just get rid of these burrs and whatever. If I can. Yeah, that's not a very nice job at all. But anyway, whatever. It won't matter too much. Get rid of all this rubbish. I mean, these things probably aren't that dear anyway. I would imagine I can pick them up fairly cheaply, but, um, but you know, whatever. It looks like I've missed a spring or something from this one. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, how does that go on? Something like that. 
oops, no, more like that. There we go. These have got little spring mechanisms. Anyway, that's done. And of course, these have got to go down the back. So if I just push them in, push it in down the back here, and the cell looks something like that. So I'll probably glue it like that. Anyway, if I just go back over here, where's the little clip? There it is. So there's the, uh, the thing that goes into the PCB. So I'll need to solder this in. So I'll make sure they're stripped first. And now it's time to solder, so I'll just light my soldering iron. There we go. And get that nice and hot. And uh, get the helping hands. And of course push that in there. Like that. I suppose I should zoom in here. Um, I could do some heat shrink as well to make sure this is a nice job. So let's give this a go. I'll put the heat shrink over here first. And over this one. Right, let's solder this in place now. I'll try to anyway. I think I'll just um, put some solder on these first. Okay. The first one done. And there's the second one done. Okay, and now I'll just put the heat shrink over it, over the joint, like that. And this one too. There we go. And heat those up. There we go. And what's next? Let's take this away and zoom out. So um, we've got the thing um, made now. So I've got the battery through there. Now I suppose I'll just connect it and see if it works. So I've plugged it in. I suppose I'll press the button. Yeah, it's, and it's flashing, so it seems to be working. <coughs> now it's time to put it together. So this should be fairly easy, I hope. I imagine it's just a case of snapping this together. Like that. Ah, oh, we're missing a button there, hang on. There it is. that goes in there like that. Let's try again. There we go. Now that's together. And that should be fine. So now I just screw it back together and um, move on to the gluing I suppose. Right so here's the, uh, the controller. Uh, all appears to be working fine. Uh, but now I've got this cell, so it's a bit awkward. So you basically try to use this thing while that's dangling. So um, this needs to be glued, ideally. We could use hot glue, but I'm just going to use super glue. Um, so I guess it'll probably go something like that. Well, or maybe like that. I'll just need to glue it in place like that, I suppose. Or would it go this way? Yeah, I suppose that way is better. So I'll just get some super glue. So 
So here's the controller and the cell thing, and I suppose I'll just try and glue it in now. <coughs> so we'll have, um, I don't know, will this go, I suppose this will go down there like that. Let's try and glue it in. Put a bit of glue here, and a bit of glue here to start with. Let's give this a go. I suppose like that's okay. And I'll put some glue down here just to be sure. And some glue here as well. And here. So I've glued I've glued it to the back and then I've glued it in four places as well just to be sure. And hopefully this will work now. Okay, so here's the thing finished. I've actually done this to three of these controllers, and if you look at the back, that's what it looked like. Looks like so. There's an 18650 cell in there, and the capacity should be a hell of a lot more, and it should last longer. And ergonomically, I don't suppose it's too bad. It is a bit weird, but whatever. So anyway, uh, that's this project finished, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.